So in today's setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Sega Mega CD within the latest version of Launchbox. I'm going to be showing you how to convert your game files from .bin and .q to .chd. I'm going to be showing you how to save in load states, how to import games into Launchbox. I'm looking at video settings and even bezels as we can see on the side of the screen right here so there's plenty to learn in this awesome guide to sega mega cd and launchbox so check this one out <laughs> Okay then, so before I start today's launch box and Mega City setup guide, if you liked today's video, make sure to hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss any more upcoming retro emulation content. So yes, we are looking at Mega CD today or Sega CD in launch box. So first thing I'm going to suggest you doing is if you've got your games in .bin and .q file extension what we're going to do is use a program to clean those up for you and we're going to get you some .chd files which pretty much combines everything into one image and it also saves you space so what we're going to do is head over to this website and this is chdmum.zip just download this and once you've got that you're going to end up with a chdman.zip folder we just take a look in here we got several different files and batch files now if i go into my sega cd folder i've got a couple of games in here we got chd which is the awesome final fight cd now more commonly a lot of people is going to have these ripped right from their sega cd discs this is just a mess so what we're going to do is use cd man and we need to highlight chdman.exe as well as the one beneath it and just drag both of these into that folder containing your bin and .q files what we're going to do next is double left click on the .bat and this is then going to convert it into .chd file extension this is pretty cool stuff like i said it also saves you space on your hard drive and it takes away all of those files so a lot cleaner a lot smarter and yeah you're gonna have more space to add more games if you like and while this is converting what we're going to do next is head over to the latest launch box and if you don't have retro watch through launch box already installed we can do this so if we go to menu tools and we're going to go to manage retro arch download and install just let this install and if we just pop over to see how this conversion is doing this is now being converted into .chd and right at the bottom we can see sonic cd.chd so i'm going to press on one of these files and press ctrl in a both together and just left click on that new chd file and we can easily delete everything else so i'm going to right click on this one copy it and then just paste it into my main Sega CD folder. And now just delete that folder which once contained those dot bins. And here we go, it's that simple. So what we're going to do next is delete chdman.zip. And as we can see at the bottom, RetroArch was installed successfully. So let's get going and import this into the latest version of Launchbox. So from here, we're going to go to Tools, Import rom files and this is going to open up the wizard and we can start importing stuff so we're going to go to next and add folder this is asking us to add our games so i'm going to go to add folder desktop and my games are located on my desktop in my sega cd folder just highlight that folder press select folder next which platform are you importing games for of course it's sega cd if you don't have this come up then just drop this down and search for sega cd and we can go to next so we're going to be using retro watch for this as we can see we just downloaded this using launch box and we're also going to keep checked automatically download retro watch core if missing press next now it's asking us for bios cd so there's three main bios cds for sega cd if we go to browse these are also on my desktop so desktop and they're in my files folder it's asking for the u version 
So what I'm going to do is highlight this one, open. Now that one's got the BIOS CDU.bin. Now bear in mind, there's three main BIOS files for Sega CD emulation. So we got the same name, only ones with E, ones with J, and obviously the one I'm using here is for U. Each letter represents a different region. So we're going to press next and we're going to use the games in their current location. We don't want to move these anywhere. If you do want a launch box to put your games elsewhere, then select one of these. And we need to keep this part checked just here. Search for game information, metal metadata. So next. Now the next part just here, depending on how much space you've got to play around with. Personally, I'll go to check none. And then I select a few pictures. So I'm going to go for box 3D, box front, box back. And that's going to be enough, really. But like I say, if you're planning on using big box, then select everything and you're going to get literally every piece of artwork available. We're going to press next. Config MU Movies. So if we click on here, MU Movies is where you're going to get all your video previews for your games for, which makes big box look a lot better. It's a free website to sign up with. Once you register, just pop in your user ID and password and then just go to OK. I'm going to press next. Now we can download bezels if you wish. So bezels, as we can see here, clears up the black bars on the side of the screens. I'm not going to download these. I'm going to just go next and press next again. And as we can see, LaunchBox is now found to my Final Fight CD and my Sonic CD, which I've converted to .chd. So press finish. And as we can see, it's now going to be scanning for metadata, which we requested relating to both of these Sega CD games. You can see they've been successfully imported complete with cover art we can actually change the look of these through this free version so if we go to image group 3d boxes we'll now get our games presented in that awesome 3d look and as we can see on the side we've now got consoles appear along with sega cd so to play one of these games i'm going to right click on one of these open and once we got RetroArch open for the first time, we need to configure a few settings. Otherwise, your games are going to open up in, like I've got here, a window screen, and that's no good. So we're going to go to Settings, Video, Full Screen Mode, and search. And say your games failed to load, say you messed something up with BIOS for Sega CD, that's really easy to find. So what we're going to do is look for RetroArch. So we downloaded RetroArch and installed it through LaunchBox. So to find it, we're going to go to this PC, C Drive. And if I go to Users, Jamie is the name of my computer. And from here, we're going to go to LaunchBox, Emulators, and here is RetroArch. Now in your system folder, this is where your BIOS files belong for RetroArch. So we can just drag those BIOS files inside. and relaunch launch box and this time round the game should play so highlight the game press
and we're going to clear up video settings now just to make it look a little bit better it's very pixelated so from quick menu you can access that by normally pressing your power button i'm using my google stadia button so what we're going to do is go to settings and video and scaling i'm going to turn integral scaling on aspect ratio it says core provided so this is the recommended ratio but we can put this to four if you like or we can put it to the original 4x3 and we can see what's going on in the background and we can add bilinear to the reboot and if we go back into the game now main menu quick menu resume So back in the quick menu, which we can see it's looking a little bit better this time, not so pixelated. I'm going to quickly save this. So we can use save and load states in RetroArch. So save states. And at the top, we got state slot at the top. So we have many different slots to save to for different games. Uh, I'm going to keep this to state slot zero and save it from where I'm playing just here. And back in the quick menu, load state. And as we can see, that's now loaded up where I just saved it. Other things we can do in RetroWatch to make things look better is go down to on-screen overlay and turn this on. Overlay preset. If we go to borders, we can put a Mega Drive animated border on this or select anything here. As long as it's got CFG on the end, it's a file extension. Let's just check out Mega Drive. So Mega Drive animated border. And if we back out, quick menu. And we can try that again. So this time we're going to go back down to on screen overlay and overlay preset parent directory to bring us back into the contents. And we can check out TV Integer. So select this one. Back into the game. Yeah, so that one looks a bit strange. But there's other things we can play around with. With bezels, these are known as, or on-screen overlays. So, for example, we can increase the opacity of the overlay. So it's currently on 0.70%. If we put this down to something like one right at the bottom, go back into the game. So as you can see, we no longer got transparency going through the game and the screen. Now there is some selected Sega Mega CD games, which has a couple of discs, even three, I believe. But if we actually convert them, our discs, .bins, .qs into .chds, we don't need to swap discs over. Like I say at the start of the video, everything's put into one. So there's no re reason to be using disc control. But if you do decide to keep dot bin in dot queues rather than con converting them, then you can eject your main disc. And when it asks for your second disc, load new disc. Now to save all these video settings and everything else we've done, to do this, we go to quick menu, core options, manage core options, and just here, we're going to find two options to save our settings. So save game options or save content directory options. So the first option here is going to literally save the video settings for this specific game. Whereas save content directory options is going to save everything we've done for everything that you run with this Genesis Plus GX core. So I'm going to save content directory options. And core options file create successfully. Now, if we back out of here and we actually close the game, so and if we open up Sonic CD, those video settings which we've just applied should now take effect to everything. So play. So we can see the game's playing just fine, but it's cropped out using this bezel or decoration. So 
what we need to do then is take a look at aspect ratio settings. So go to settings, video, scaling, aspect ratio is currently on four by three. If we put this on to say custom, So as we can see, the image is now complete. So that's it for today's launch box and Sega Mega CD setup guide. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit notification, subscribe and like. It really helps my channel a great deal. Plus it gets you update retro emulation content as I upload it, which is every day. Also check me out on social media. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. But until next time, stay retro.